let's take a quick little look at these health records that have the numbers on the sides of them. Uh, the numbers that you see are filed in terminal digit order. Uh, and if you were to look at these numbers on paper, it would be, uh, for example, 42-18-93. Uh, so across the bottom, you can see all of the primary numbers are the same. So when you're filing this set of, uh, you know, group of records, um, it doesn't really do you any good once you see that all of the the uh, primary digits are 93. Well, you're going to group them together and move on to look at the secondary positions. And in the secondary positions, we have the number 18, 35, 36, 94, 95, 95, 95. Now, when we get to the 95s, you can see we, we haven't been able to narrow anything down, so we'll file up here by tertiary numbers. But some of these can go in place without having to go to the tertiaries. So when we have the primary digit 93 all the way across, uh, we go to the next one, and 18 comes before 35, 35 comes before 36, and 36 comes before 94. Uh, all of these then can be filed at this point. When you get down to the last three here, though, they all three have secondary positions of 95. So all you do is move up to the tertiary position, put 23 in front of 71, and 71 is in front of 94. That's how terminal digit records uh, are filed. Now, I'm going to give you a different set that are mixed up a little bit. Okay, let me just... Move these out of the way, and do one of these, and do one of these. Okay, now I'm going to set these out, and we need to sort them uh, so that they are in terminal digit order. Get these so that you can see them, and here are our numbers, okay? All right, can you see these? Here we go. All right, first thing we want to do is look at the primary numbers on these, okay? So if you, or the primary digits. If you go down to the bottom two and look across the row, some of them are the same and some of them are not. So let's look for the numbers that would come first. And out of this row here, I see that the 90s are the ones that would come first. We have some 91s and we have some 93s, but we need to do the 90s. So if I take the 90s and put them all together, some 90s, put them here, take this 90 and put it here. Now you can see that we have 90s as the primary digits on these three. <clears throat> now we go to the secondary digits. We have a 19 and we have 18s. So we have to switch these so that the 18s come before the 19s. All right, good to go. We have 90s as our primary digits. In our secondary digits, two of them have 18 and one has 19. But because these two have 18, we have to go here and actually file by this number. 74 comes before 99. These three are in order. Then you go to 91. We only have one of those, so it's good just the way it is. And 93s, so we can't eliminate by 93s. We'll move to the secondary position. And there is a 35, a 36, and an 18. So we want the 18 to move to right here. Okay. Now we have 93s in our primary position. 18, 35, 36 in our secondary position. And we don't need to move any further into the tertiary position because this is where they belong. Okay. That's how you file a set of records using terminal digit filing.